Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I wanted to do a video on conflicting personalities. And what I mean by conflicting personalities. I mean dating or having a relationship with someone who is the extreme opposite as yourself. And what's interesting is society has also brainwashed people into believing this is the perfect relationship. And people for what reason I don't know by it hook line and sinker. What I mean is, if you have a relationship where you God forbid love to do most things together, you share the same hobbies, likes dislikes, and life goals. It's somehow seen as strange or abnormal. Now I do want to point out that oftentimes toxic people can pretend to like what you like in order to ensnare you into abuse. However, what I'm talking about here is someone that genuinely likes what you like. And is your best friend so to speak. It seems when others see a couple like this someone has to figure out a way to put a wedge between such a couple. And the ones doing so will say, don't you want your space? Don't you feel like you just want to explore life? But what they really mean is they can't stand to see a happy couple and have to fill your head with doubts and bad ideas. Because in today's day and age, sadly women are taught the only value of a man is to comply with demands and be a financial support. And that likes and dislikes just kind of work themselves out. Because most people don't spend much time with their spouses anyway. Maybe a few hours a week if they're lucky. And in the end they end up just being roommates sharing finances and bills. This is often the excuse for someone to leave for long extended periods of times in the relationship. Or to partake in singles activities when they are in a relationship. Citing that their spouse doesn't like to go. When in reality they really wanted to go without them anyways. Simply put meet someone that likes the same activities as you do. And build a life together. If you like poetry. It's probably a good idea you meet someone that has a fondness for poetry too. If you like baseball meet someone that likes baseball too. If you have really strong political views. It would be crazy to meet someone with very much the opposite views as you and expect the relationship to be any good. Remember opposites attract but they sure fight like cats and dogs. Use your head people. Anyone that tries to convince you that you liking to be with your spouse all the time is abnormal. Is an idiot only trying to put a wedge between you. Because the honest truth is in most relationships today. I bet many of the men and women really don't love each other. They are married or together because it seemed like a good idea at the time. Or they just don't want to be alone and a bunch of other wrong reasons to be together. And you will see though they may have a nice house and cars in the driveway. They don't have love. They cheat on each other left and right. And they lie right to each other's faces. And these people that seem like they have it all together but really don't. Are the ones that love to put wedges between good happy couples. They use self-doubt and fancy wordplay. To get you to think that. Well hey maybe there is something wrong with my relationship too. When in reality being best friends with the person you love is the very thing many are jealous of and seek to destroy when they see it in others. So personally I think the best thing for an individual is to have a relationship with someone that you can be best friends with. Someone you won't push to the side to hang out with a bunch of nobodies. Someone that you laugh with. And someone that can feel what you feel. And you know it's not fake or phony acting. But it's the real deal. And how do you know it's the real deal? By letting the other person earn your trust. And earn your friendship. And by watching how this friendship grows or doesn't grow over time. Fakes and phonies can only hold on to their act for so long before they crack. And start to show glimpses of who they really are. And the toxic self that lies beneath the phony exterior they show you. However. Someone that is genuine will be consistent over a long 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 period of time. You will know a tree by its fruit. Here's the thing you can go through life happy and excited each day. And enjoy going through the day with the love of your life. Or you can get up each day wondering how you ended up with such a person. And even worse you can get up every day to face someone that is half a step shy of being a literal monster. Think about the word conflict. In the term conflicting personalities. It doesn't sound very nice or happy does it? Well I have news for you. It's not. And when we start to learn these things. We can be on the road to spending time with people that make us happy. 
Instead of feeling like life with this person is one big conflict, like I always say, knowledge is power. The more we know, the more we can live happy, healthy, and long lives. Until next time, bye for now, and be good to yourselves.